Welcome to Off The Tee, I am JP, I am a beginner golfer. Um, today we are going to be playing Crestbrook Golf Club in Watertown, Connecticut. My hope and goal for this channel is to track my progress and development as well as hopefully inspire young people from marginalized communities to pick up a golf club and try the game. As someone who grew up in the inner cities of New York, golf was not a sport that was present and the only time I ever really saw golf was on the highlights of Sports Center. Through this game, not only have I realized that I learn something every single time I'm out on the course, but it has also worked as a form of therapy or mental health as being out on the course really allows me to clear my mind as well as go through a roller coaster of emotions and dealing with those emotions in real time. Here I am just warming up before the round. Uh, my personal goal is to get under 100. Um, I have not been able to accomplish that as of yet, but I'm gonna continue to strive. Uh, my handicap is a 25.9, which means I am not a very good golfer, but again, I am continuing to work and develop. Um, I do have a background in baseball, which has helped and it has also hurt um, because the swings are completely different. This is the first part of a three part video. So for this video, you guys are gonna be seeing holes one through six. Uh, look out for the rest of the round coming soon. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope that you guys enjoy the content. Um, if you do, please consider liking and subscribing um, and hope you enjoy. As we get into our last shot here, we are going to begin the round. The first hole is a 337 yard par four um, right over the hill. So my only goal here is to put one on the fairway and give myself a chance uh, to get the ball up and onto the green. I'm actually very pleased with this shot. Uh, ended up on the left hand rough right off the fairway. Uh, gives me about 150 to the green. Second shot here. Um, chunked it just a bit, hit it a little short, ended up on the front side of the green. The pin was on the back side. Uh, here we're left with a really, really long putt for birdie. Um, all I'm trying to do is lag it up there as close to the pin as possible. Uh, unfortunately, I did not hit this well and got about halfway there. Um, the putt for par, we're looking at about 20, 25 feet here. Um, thought it was okay, but again, just did not hit it well. Um, and Here's the putt for bogey. And this one goes in. So bogey on the first hole. On to the second. Second hole here is all downhill, 386 yard par four. Um, again, my only goal is to hit one down the middle. Um, was not able to do that, pulled it, but luckily the tree spit it right back out and I was in prime position for the second shot. Uh, second shot from about 180 or so, I used a three wood. Um, did not hit this well at all. I wanted to try to get it up in the air just a bit. Um, hit a line drive and was on the left rough. Um, from the left rough, just trying to get it over that bunker and give me a, a shot. Um, I was able to do that, thankfully, and I'm on the dance floor. Uh, putting for par. Thought I got it in close here. Um, was in prime position. Uh, my putting is not very good looking um, and just respected that a little bit too much and hit it over. Um, this one is for bogey from about 12 feet. Um, and left it short. 
and tap in for a double womp womp. All right, hole number three is a par three, 142 yards. Um, my only goal here is to aim for the fat part of the green. Um, and here goes. I uh, thought I had it, but I pulled it just a bit. Um, ended up on the hand side of the green. Left me about a 50 foot putt, I wanna say. Um, Here's my first try at it. Um, I absolutely juiced this one and it almost rolled off the green. Thankfully it did not. Um, and here is my par putt. Again, just giving these greens a little bit too much respect. Um, I, I wasn't reading them right. Some I was reading as if they were uphill um, and putting a little bit more juice on them. Some I was reading downhill, putting a little bit less juice on it and just was not comfortable putting at all. Hole number four is a 300 yard par four here. Slight dog leg left and there is a small tree that's in the middle of the fairway. Um, again, my only goal is to get something in the fairway. Um, not sure how I drew this. Uh, I've never hit a draw before, but um, it worked out perfectly. It drew right around the tree in the fairway and I was in prime position. Yeah, so it did get a little crazy. It did start snowing just a bit. Um, I was able to get this up and close to the green. I was right off the front fringe. Um, so from here, I decided to putt, um, try to get it up there as close as I could, uh, left myself about, you know, 15 feet or so, um, here, I mean, I'm trying to sink this, um, I'm trying to get out of here with a par, um, but unfortunately it came up just a little short. Um, you can tell by my body language, if I would have hit it, I probably would have had it. Um, but here I have a tap in for bogey. Coming up to hole number five, 318 yard par four. Um, as all tee shots, um, when I'm with the driver, my only goal is to hit one as straight as possible and I pushed it. I did get lucky. It did not hit the trees or get into any kind of situation there. Uh, I did end up on the right rough. Uh, trying to keep this one low uh, as the branches are kind of overhanging here. Um, was able to get through and ended up on the left hand side of the green uh, pretty far putt again um, but at least I gave myself a chance and I'm on the dance floor uh, this putt I did not read at all um, I think the distance and just the slope um, I, I try to play for it but it just was not a successful putt at all um, so here I go for par I thought I read it, I thought I had it, um, but unfortunately it just was not in the cards. And I'm just trying to salvage a bogey here. This one is playing up and I'm trying to play the break. And I thought I had it. And again, I, I talk about the emotions of this game and you know, those are things that come with it. Um, just gotta take that pill. Coming up to the last hole of this video, it is a par five, 417 yards. Um, again, as a beginner, um, I do try to set myself up um, in order to pull off the best shot possible um, and set myself and my body up in a position to do that. Um, so for the drive, again, my only goal is to hit it up the middle and I think this one I was able to do successfully. 
Um, one thing that I noticed afterwards when I was driving to the ball, there was a bit of a creek, which thankfully I just barely uh, missed. And here is my approach shot, which I absolutely bladed. Um, it was not a good shot at all. Um, here I am just trying to get something to the front. Um, I, I clubbed up here because the wind was, was pretty bad. Um, but it didn't work. I flew the green and ended up on the back side uh, then having to chip my way onto the green. Um, here's my chip. Uh, I'm not very good at chipping at all. Um, I do second guess myself a lot, which I did here. Um, and it just ended up on the fringe. Um, from here, I just, I, I was committed to chipping here um, or learning. So I went with the chip. Uh, got it about halfway there um, and now I am left with about 15 feet um, I thought I gave it a good run uh, hit it over just a bit I think my camera started getting uh, a little bit upset with all the video that it was taking and how cold it was and it got a little dizzy um, and as I was taking the shot the camera fell um, thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you subscribe and tune into next.